All right. This is Blue Heron Tarot. We're going to do a read for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be about you and your person that you're thinking about. Um, I do give personal readings. My information is down below in the description box. They start as low as $22 for a recorded read. Um, thank you for showing up. I really appreciate your energy and your time and giving this a go. Let me know if it resonates. All right. You, you guys... You guys are staying you guys are staying in the present moment now, both of you. I think you've been praying for your soulmate or you're calling in a soulmate. But there is a deceptive energy and this was what it was like in the in the shorter one. Um and there's passion. So this is sort of a repeat of energy. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. It, it's like in in the previous little read it was like I like your energy right now because you are staying present. You might start to become aware of the false masks and aware of the deception. Um, a lot of times when you're in a soulmate relationship, a divine relationship, the deception, the false masks, the fears show up to be reconciled, to be accepted as a part of you. All right. So I do feel like there's a little bit of that work going on, but definitely do not be chasing the shiny, shiny thing outside of yourself. Um... That is false. That is not you. Don't chase a false version of yourself. Meaning don't chase a deceptive energy, you know? Don't chase fear. All right, Virgo, let's do some more. How are you feeling? Feeling a little bit sad? Or maybe closed about opening up to a person? Um, your person's feeling sort of young. There's sort of an immature feeling. They're communicating. Um, kind of in and out, quick communication. They might want to tell you something. They might have news for you. You feel like this person isn't maybe healthy for you or maybe just not healthy in general. Okay. So you're seeing some of the deception. And they see you as you, but they feel like you're not really being fully you either. I feel like you guys both are seeing each other in it like, like, you're seeing your person not really maturing and healing the way they quote unquote should. And, you know, through observation and this person seeing that you're not really coming into your true light and giving yourself this, the, the space and the time to be who you truly are with the hermit in reverse. Um, you're working, you're working on it. You're working on it. You're trying to plant seeds. You're waiting to see what happens. Um, you're waiting to see what happens. I feel like this is something that you wouldn't be telling this person. You're more observing. Like, let me plant some seeds. Let's observe. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to... I mean, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, it's like you're feeling emotionally vulnerable, but not in like a good, strong way, but almost like I don't really want to open up my heart right now or I'm feeling mildly heartbroken. So it's either like you're protecting your heart or you feel like you have no love to give or you feel like this person doesn't. This person does want to make an offer to you. Again, this person wants to t talk to you. This person might have a message for you. This person does want to offer something small to you. Um, for some of you, you might turn your back to this person. You might turn your back to this offer. It might be something from your past that you want to move on from. Definitely you want to move on from deception and fear. Um, this person really feels starts to move into king energy. And both of you guys have this wand. So you're moving towards the world. You're moving towards a new cycle. And this person seems to want to follow you. Um, your person seems to want to be like, hey, Virgo is who is the one I want. I've made a couple offers. Virgo's kind of waiting. Virgo's kind of like turning the other direction and following a different path or following their highest path. And I actually feel like this person likes that. Like once you start following your highest path, this person's like, okay, I'll follow you too. If you're gonna follow your highest path, I'll follow you too as the King of Wands. I want that too. So it doesn't seem like so negative where you're like running away from this person and this person's chasing you. However, that could be the case for some of you. For others of you, because you start to do you, and it's not just like doing you like, 
you know, there's like a, they think that you're resisting finding your inner light, but I actually feel like Virgo, you are gonna do you. What's the greater good for you? What's the new world? What's the new earth? What's, how do I follow spirit? How do I stay in the moment now? How do I call in my soul? How do I align with my soul? And that's how you attract this soulmate in a full king energy. You know what I'm saying? Because like you might be perceiving them right now as sort of like, you're not healthy, you're young, your offers are very flimsy. I'm gonna just do me. And then this person starts to go, hmm. I like Virgo when they do them. <laughs> I like Virgo when they're doing them, doing the spirit stuff or following their true, the true divine path. All right. This is somebody you might work with. This is somebody that you have a common goal with on some level. Um, yeah, this might be somebody you work with. This is somebody that you can be generous with, that you can work with. Huh. I don't know what the deception... I, I'm going to clarify that. Um, okay, we'll devil. So this person has some vices. This person can be very tempting. And this person can be very manipulative. Huh. But this person can also be make, be, make you very happy and be very optimistic and open. This person's revealing all sorts of things as a mirror. Virgo, this person, <laughs> you see this person as a vice, as a manipulator. You also see this person as success and optimism and openness. You see this person as dark and light. You, this is the whole, this is why this is such a great work. They can break your heart, but they can also inspire you. They can help fuse the yin and the yang they can help fuse the the duality and move you into acceptance of all things this person can illuminate your own self-imprisonment your own self-sabotage this person might show you that this person might trigger that and so at times you feel like they're not healthy and they're not healed and that you need to find the sun within this person reveals both um, this is somebody that you see as a star. You do see them as healing, um, or that you put them on a pedestal in some kind of way, which might make you feel like you lose your strength when you give your power away and it makes you feel vulnerable and it makes you doubt yourself. Okay. Or this person tends to get that way. Um, this person sees you as a cheater and being selfish and not following the divine path. Yeah, this person sees you as materialistic, up to no good, a trickster, um, hoarding money, um, staying in the old, but it looks like you're not doing that, but this is how they perceive you. It doesn't necessarily mean that's how they are. You perceive them as unhealthy, but you do put them on a pedestal. You do feel like they are a healer of some kind or a star of some kind. You also see them as weak because they doubt themselves and they maybe, um, they lose their strength sometimes around you. The hangman in reverse. You are learning, like there is stagnation. There is a waiting period. You feel very indecisive when it comes to this person. Okay. You're also seeing that this person in some ways is you. You're seeing how, what this person is showing you how this person is triggering you, how you're treating this person, how this person's treating you as aspects and patterns from within, okay? Um, there's something about this person that um, taps you into your heart space, taps you into your inner child, but also I feel like you feel, I don't know, it's sometimes I feel like you feel like this person isn't very logical. I also feel like with the Page of Cups, they, you know, you want to make them an offer of love underneath it all. But I feel like you're doing it in a sense of like, 
This deception, um, it's weird because they're perceiving you as deceptive. You perceive them as both light and dark. You, you perceive them as strong and weak, um, unhealthy and healthy. And they perceive you as not going within and following your true path somehow. But they do feel like, I don't know, I feel like you feel like this is somebody you can balance out with, that you can work with them, but right now there's just a disappointment. And I feel like they feel like, I don't know, I think that they struggle with deceptive energy as well. You make them very happy, you also make them very bound to an old energy that they don't want to experience. I feel like that's going on for both of you. I feel like this person brings up vulnerabilities. I feel like you want to offer them love, but it, it's easier for you to offer them love through just planting seeds and seeing how they grow instead of like actually like making an offer. Um, the two of coins, this person feels overwhelmed, spread too thin. They might have some financial issues. And yeah, they might have some financial issues. They need to rest as well before they could give you any sort of offer or move forward towards you. I feel like this de deception card is pretty kind of big. Okay, so you might cut this person out or communicate with this person. Oh yeah, so you want to move away from heartache and trauma and sadness and sorrow. Oh, these cards are going all over the place. Let's see what your person does. Okay. Yeah. So I'm seeing that this situation, Virgo, you're moving away from it. Um, whether who, is this somebody that's hurt you or that you feel like you can't open your heart to? This person feels like you can be amazing and you can be very toxic. Um, you can be deceptive and materialistic and they and you believe that yeah they, they could be very unhealthy at times um and at times very healthy like you guys can see both sides of it um regardless there's some sort of attraction between the two of you there's passion there's something that binds you together but a lot of deception false masks fears duality is really coming into play here even with the king is is like, it's it doesn't want to deal with trust issues. Like this person has trust issues with you. This person feels traumatized by this with you. You feel heartache and trauma as well. You guys like trauma. You guys are like trauma bonded or something. I I, I feel like you can honestly say, like I've just got to get away from this energy. Um, as long as I'm experiencing heartache, trauma, and sorrow. I can't really move forward in this. And this person's basically experiencing the same thing. So, so basically, Virgo, if you're feeling, let me get some more cards here. How are you feeling, Virgo, about this situation? This is an intense connection. This person wants to apologize. Um, grateful. Okay. Don't leave me. Okay, this person might want to apologize. This person almost is saying, you don't need an apology. The best closure is moving forward on your path. There is something about you moving forward on your path, Virgo, that's going to balance all this out. I think moving away from feelings of deception, wearing a false mask, being like unable to open up your heart. And if this energy makes you feel like you have to protect your heart, I mean, this looks like there's some serious damage that has been done between the two of you, but then I'm getting these cards of like intense connection, grateful, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Um, this person's not ready to part ways with you. Um, you don't need to apologize, but so it's like, 
you're exactly where you need to be right now. You're learning the lessons you need to learn. A lot of this stuff is just coming up to decide you don't want this stuff anymore. Okay, so what's that, like a possible outcome? What does this person hope for? Whoa. Yikes, that's the devil. Okay. It's coming towards you. Health. Renewal. Well-deserved reward. All right. All right. Honestly, guys, I feel like this is a trauma bond for some of you. Be grateful that it looks like you, you're going to move towards you. You're going to move towards the present moment now. You're going to leave the deception. Even if this person is good for you at some point, if you perceive them as deceptive or they perceive you as deceptive, all it's going to do is increase that deceptive fear energy within the relationship. It's time to go in and examine the heart, how the heart's been caged, how the, the unconditioned self has been caged from freely loving oneself. That could be you, that could be them. There's a new beginning coming and there's many, many choices coming. Um, but your person's still kind of learning unconditional love, learning how to break free from the guarded heart, break free from some of the trauma to have a new beginning. And you as well are going to start to heal, start to shine and start to surrender this connection towards God, okay? So be grateful because this intense connection has led you exactly where you need to go. Um, any advice for Virgo? Sorry about the dog. Yeah, Virgo, a thousand and a half lovers must be forsaken to take on a whole heart home. I almost want to say, if you guys don't know where you stand and you don't have that connection to the divine and you haven't tapped into that unconditional love that you already are and you keep looking back at this relationship or entangling yourself in this energy, it'll always be confusing. It will always lead you to like halfway in, halfway out because fear would not allow you to jump all the way in. Fear doesn't allow you to be the fool, the unconditioned self that takes a leap of faith and jumps off the cliff. If you have fear in you, you might as well just let this relationship go because all it's going to do is fear begets fear. And there's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of passion here. But until this deceptive energy clears, you're gonna, you guys are going to traumatize each other. And you're not going to be able to give it your all. Um, there's a resistance here as well. When will you begin that long journey into yourself? So... For some of you, it could be your person. It could be you. It's time to go inward. Take that long journey into yourself. Um, so someone broke your heart or you have to cut someone off, but it's like you don't really want to leave, but you do want to leave. They don't want you to leave, but it's like you're leaving fear. You're leaving deception. You're giving yourself space to heal. It's worth it. Surrender it up. Let it go. Lose the dependency to small pleasures of quick hits, of quick fixes in life and move into the deeper roots of who you are. The pleasure that's not so much pleasurable, but it's peaceful. It's, it's eternal. Find your place in your eternal beingness and um, let this trauma go. Let this trauma go. Um... Close your eyes, fall in love and stay there. This is inner work, Virgo. It's not going to work with this person um, until that deceptive energy goes away. I, I see that you see them. Um, I see that they see you um, in a dark way. I see that you see them in a dark way. I also see that you guys see each other in a very light way. You guys see both. 
And it's time to collapse the, the duality now and just move into the isness. You're exactly where you need to be. Allow this energy to come in and consume you. Close your eyes, fall in love, stay there. Your ships are going to come in the more you align and look towards the light, look towards the healing, look towards you, your higher self. And all this stuff will crumble down. All right. Owning, second house, owning. Don't allow the security. Okay, interesting. If you want, like this soulmate is very transformative. There's a lot of messages in this connection. There's a lot of transformation in this connection. This is a divine connection or this is a very powerful, intense connection. You can't own this connection. You can't own love. You can't own, your ego cannot own your soul. It's a surrendering your ego to your soul. It's allowing yourself to, it's almost like surrendering to what you think is security in material things in order to find security in eternal things. Close your eyes, fall in love, and stay there. Fall out of the dependencies to pleasures from anything other than what you truly are. And that deceptive energy will start to dissipate in your relationship and in your life. And you won't have a half thousand lovers must be forsaken to take on a whole heart home. You won't have a thousand half-hearted forsaken lovers you know, in all aspects of things where everything's just halfway, a quick hit. No, we can go into the depths of love here. Um, you know, like when Jesus was like out in the desert for 40 days and the devil offered him the world, if he, if he, sac if he worshiped him and Jesus said no, because there's nothing in it in the long run. This is a, just a, a snap, this place here. Our eternal soul is everything. It's our wealth. Don't confuse the two. This might be a message for you, Virgo. This might be a message for your person, but I'm going to let you go there. If you'd like a personal message, my information is down below in the description box. Sending you much love.